Yo, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'm going to be going over the NBA slate on DraftKings and Yahoo for Thursday, May the 9th. Uh, another two-game NBA slate today. I'm going to go through each position, talk about some of the guys that I like on this two-game slate. Uh, we'll work our way through the player pool. And of course, like always, I'll give my five plays for DraftKings and five plays uh, for Yahoo. These are five players that I do specifically like for each site. Um, just before we do get started, guys, I would appreciate it if you would drop a like on the video. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button down below. Uh, so that way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Um, so we'll start off at point guard today. Damian Lillard, most expensive option here, 8800 on DraftKings. Um, Lillard, not a guy that I'm going to be prioritizing today. Uh, if we look at the other studs that are available on this slate, you have Jokic at 10300 who I do like quite a bit. You have Kawhi Leonard, who I think is a very good play at 9,500. Uh, Joel Embiid at 9K is probably going to be someone I avoid. I think I would rather play Lillard over him. But then you have a guy like Jimmy Butler for 800 cheaper. You have Pascal Siakam for 1,700 cheaper. Lillard's probably going to fall into like a no man's land for me. I'm, I don't see myself rostering a ton of Damian Lillard today. I expect a lot of my point guard ownership to go to Jamal Murray. Uh, he's just been playing really well lately. He's 6,900 on DraftKings, so... Relatively priced, or reasonably priced, I should say. 54, 46, 40 DraftKings points the last three games in this series has played very well. Been shooting the ball very well, been taking a ton of shots, which we love to see. 20 shots uh, in game uh, three and game four or game five, I'm not sure which one it is. 16 shots. Uh, so he's been taking a lot of shots, which is something we like to see. He's been getting the peripherals as well. Five rebounds, five rebounds, nine assists, four assists. Uh, really like Jamal Murray. He's definitely my favorite point guard play. Factoring in price tag. Uh, he's the guy I like the most. I'm definitely going to be playing him over McCollum and over Ben Simmons. Uh, ben Simmons just so cheap on DraftKings, but I just can't do it. He's been so bad in this series. Just not a guy that I think can get it going. This is just not a good matchup for him. If you need value, I guess the one value play you could go to would be Seth Curry. Uh, he continues to see pretty decent minutes off the bench, 26 and 27 minutes the last two games. Uh, 22 and 15 DraftKings points. If you're wanting to punt this position, he would be the guy I would look to, but I think point guard's probably a position where I think you want to try and get Jamal Murray in if you can. Uh, so let's talk about some shooting guards now. I do like to pay up here for Jimmy Butler. I do really like Jimmy Butler on this slate. 8K on DraftKings. You can play him at shooting guard or small forward. On Yahoo, he's at small forward, and he's $32. He's $11 cheaper than Kawhi Leonard. I think Jimmy Butler is a really good play on both sides. Uh, so he's been very good in this series. For fantasy, he's been awesome. Last four games, 56, 54, 40, or 51, 42 DraftKings points. Uh, even though he's 8K on DraftKings, and that seems like a hefty price tag to pay for Jimmy Butler, uh, in this series, he's been worth that price tag. He's been dominant, uh, picking up a ton of points, getting a ton of rebounds, getting assists as well. Kind of has, or can give you a triple-double uh, on the right night, like 22, 9, and 9. In that game on uh, May 2nd, he got nearly a triple-double in that game. So he's got the upside for that. He's got 55, 60-point upside if this game stays competitive. Really like Jimmy Butler at shooting guard. Really like Jamal Murray. I think Gary Harris is a really good value play. He's 4900 on DraftKings, and on Yahoo, he is $19. He remains a bit underpriced, in my opinion. Uh, just been very consistent pretty much all postseason. In the last few games, has been very consistent, 28, 24, and 30 DraftKings points. Uh, for this price tag of 4900 you want him to get close to 30 DK points to be a good value at this price tag. And I think he can definitely get there, especially with him playing 37, 38 minutes a night. I really like Gary Harris on this slate. I think he is one of the good value plays you could look to, uh, 5K and below. Uh, and then the other value guy I guess we, you could consider would probably be like Will Barton at 4300 uh, But he is very closely priced to Harris, and I think I would just try and find the $600 and get up to Gary Harris. Uh, you also got Seth Curry, who you could use as a punt play at shooting guard. Uh, let's move on to small forward now. Uh, so small forward, there's two guys I want to hit on. Obviously, Kawhi Leonard, 9500 at the top, is a very good play today, especially if you do want to like stack this game. Toronto Philly, and you want to play a couple Philly guys, and you want to run it back with some Toronto guys. Kawhi Leonard makes a ton of sense. I think I would rather play Jokic, though, who's a little bit more. Jokic going to be a stud that I continue to try and pay up for. Uh, but I do like Kawhi. He's going to be right there behind Jokic. Uh, Alfred Camino, though, is the one value play I want to talk about. 4700 on DK, pretty cheap. On Yahoo, he's at power forward, and he's $19. Uh, 
Really like Aminu here, just continues to be another guy you can rely on for consistency. Last four games, 27, 27, 33, 19 draftings points. Uh, last game where he only got 19 DK points, that game was a blowout, and Aminu only played 24 minutes. Uh, I would expect this game is going to be close, and we're going to see Aminu get back to his 35, 36, 37 minutes that he should be playing. And he probably is going to give you a score of anywhere between 25 and 35 DraftKings points, uh, which could, which should be good value at 4,700. So he's a cheap guy that I do really like. He's the guy that really stands out to me at small forward. Uh, I expect to be playing a lot of Kawhi, a lot of Butler, and a lot of Minu at this position. And maybe I'll throw in some Will Barton for value as well. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about some power forwards. Uh, we'll talk about this position before we move to center. Um, so at power forward, there's kind of two guys I want to hit on here, Pascal Siakam and uh, Paul Millsap. So Siakam, I do like quite a bit at 7,100. Uh, he was very good last game with 46 DK points. Uh, he was very aggressive in that game, took 19 shots, uh, played 34 minutes, had 25, 8, and 3 in those uh, 34 minutes with 46 DK points. I do like Siakam quite a bit at power forward, uh, but I think Paul Millsap is still going to be a guy that I continue to go to 6,200 on DraftKings, 900 cheaper than Siakam, and on Yahoo, he's at $22. He's $11 cheaper than Siakam. Really like Millsap for the savings you get. Uh, he's just been so good in this series, especially the last few games, 45, 41, 44 DraftKings points. Just playing great ball right now, uh, racking up points, getting rebounds as well, getting defensive stats, picking up some assists. Uh, Millsap's taking 15, 17, 18 shots a game, which we love to see. He's getting rebounds as well. He's been doing a lot of work on the glass. Uh, he's playing huge minutes as well. So love Paul Millsap. Continues to be a really good play. One of the best power forward options on this slate, in my opinion, at 6,200. Uh, and I think that is it for this position. Uh, mainly going to be playing a lot of like Siakam and uh, Paul Millsap. You can also use Aminu at power forward if you want to play him here. Uh, like cheap plays, I don't know if there's any good value I'd want to go to. Maybe you could sprinkle in some Mo Harkless or some James Ennis. Like, Ennis continues to see good minutes off the bench. You don't know what his fantasy outing is going to look like. Like, last game, I really liked him, and he only had three draftings points. He did get 23 minutes, though. Uh, I expect he continues to get about 24 to 28 minutes, somewhere in that range, coming off the bench. You might spark an upside out of him. Maybe he knocks down a couple threes and gets a couple rebounds and gives you 25 draftings points. He could be a cheap punt play you use at 3,500. Same with Harkless at 3,900. Uh, but don't think either one of those guys would be core plays for me. I'd probably just try and get to Siakam or Millsap at this position if you can. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to center and talk about center. Uh, so Nikola Jokic remains a top priority for me every, day, uh, every time that he's on the slate. He's 10,300. He's 1,300 more than, Yo or more than Embiid. And I still think he's the better play, even though Embiid is a lot cheaper. On Yahoo, Jokic easily is the best play. He's actually cheaper than Embiid. He's 47, and Embiid is 48. Love Jokic on Yahoo. Uh, he just continues to dominate in this series. Pretty much same thing goes for Jokic. I say it like every day or every time that he's on the slate. Uh, he just continues to dominate. It's going to give you 60, 50, 55, 60 drafting points pretty much every time he's on the floor. Maybe you'll spark an upside out of him, and it'll give you like a 70, 75-point game. But you can pretty much pencil him in. For at least 50 draftings points. Uh, Portland just doesn't have anybody that can slow him down. Cantor's not going to do it. Zach Collins isn't going to do it. Myron Leonard isn't going to do it. Uh, in, or Jokic easily has triple-double upside every time he's on the floor. 25, 19, and 6. Last game he fouled out uh, in that game with 34 minutes. I would imagine he probably plays a few more minutes if he doesn't foul out. So you could be seeing or you could saw another 60-point game out of Jokic last game. Uh, so he continues to be one of the highest floor and ceiling plays on the slate, and I'm just going to continue to roster him, even though he's expensive. Uh, you could argue that Joel Embiid makes a lot of sense in tournaments because he's so cheap, but he has just not been that good in this series. He did have one good game uh, where he went for 61 drafting points in 28 minutes, was very productive. Uh, but other than that, Embiid has really struggled in this series, 29, 26, 38, 23 drafting points. Just really hasn't been able to get anything going on the offensive end. Uh, Jimmy Butler has been doing a lot of the heavy lifting for the Sixers. Uh, and Beat's probably just going to be a guy that I continue to avoid. I expect my center ownership to really be focused on Jokic, uh, Siakam, and Paul Millsap. Those are three guys that are center eligible on DraftKings that I'll be playing quite a bit of. 
Uh, and I guess if you want to go to this mid range, you could consider a guy like Ennis Cantor or Marcus Saul, because they could or they should continue to see about 25, 30 minutes of solid run, but they're still going to be like secondary plays for me. Uh, not, no way I'm putting them ahead of the three guys I already talked about. Um, so I think that is it for center guys, and I think that is it for this video. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Hopefully it did help you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you click that like button down below and make sure you subscribe if you have not already. And if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Or like always, you can hit me up on Twitter at the DFS underscore go. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Uh, good luck tonight. Peace.